Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at these NJSJ computer speakers. So these were provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase some of these, I'll put a link to them in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost anything extra. So these are USB powered speakers with RGB lighting. These support Bluetooth and auxiliary input. Let's look at the specs on the side. Output is five watts by two. Frequency is 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. Separation is greater than or equal to 35 dB. Signal to noise ratio is greater than or equal to 88 dB. Power is five volts at two amps. It's two channel, 50 millimeter driver size. Then we have the size and weight specs there. Here in the back, it talks about the RGB. Tap one time to switch the RGB. Hold the touchpad to switch between aux mode and Bluetooth mode. And it has six different effects. I'll zoom in here so you can read this better. So you can pause and read through those. So it has a volume knob on it. If you turn all the way to the left, you can turn the speakers off. This is a headset jack. So if you have these plugged into the headphone jack on your computer, you're not losing your headphone jack. It just gives you a easier to access one. And here's some more features on the side. I think we went over all these. So let me get these out. So if we look at the bottom here, it has these rubber pads, but it has plastic coating on them. So I'll pull those off. So that will give them some grip on the surface they're on. So if we look at the back, these have wires permanently attached. So I'll measure the distance here. So the distance between speakers here is around four feet. I could probably have stretched it a little longer and the power and auxiliary cord around four foot six inches. So these are attached to each other. This is for power and auxiliary. So you could plug this into the back of your computer. If you wanted to separate these, you could pull this cable apart. So let's look at the speaker itself. On the left side, we have the speaker grill here and we have the logo. On the right side, we have the power knob. So we can turn this on and turn the volume up. Then we have that headphone jack under it. And then on top, we have the touch sensor for the RGB. So I'm going to plug these into my iPad to start. So I'm going to plug this into a USB charger to power it. But you could use a phone charger, any USB port that has power, you could use the computer USB. Needless to say, if you plug it into your computer, that would be the most ideal. But if you had this in a bar area or something, you could plug this into just a phone charger. So I'll turn them on. I'll turn my lights off here. So it's in the auxiliary mode. I'll hold down the RGB button. Bluetooth mode. Then we switch to Bluetooth mode. I'll go on my iPad here. We can see the speaker. I'll tap that. Okay, so it paired it. I'll go into some music and I'll start playing it. Okay, that's working very nicely. So when I had that turned up with a lot of bass, it hit about 0.5 amps. So this also has different RGB streaming modes. So I'll just tap the RGB to look at those. So I like that mode, it bounces with the music. Now this will also work with the auxiliary. So I'll plug that in. So that was super easy to set up. So now I'll set them up with my computer. So here I have a MacBook Pro. I can put the speakers on either side here. And I can plug this into the USB and the headphone port. AUX 
mode. So now we're connected, I can play some music. I'll turn the light off real quick so you can see what this looks like in the dark. So you can see this has a nice RGB effect. Now this looks a little more vibrant in person than it does on camera. It might be because of my screen brightness. That might change it a little bit. Let's see if I hold it up here. Now if you don't want the RGB on, as I showed earlier, you can go through those settings and you can make it so it's off, so you don't have the RGB. So those are the NJSJ computer speakers. I like that these are powered by USB, so you can plug them directly into your computer, or if you're using them other places, you can just use a phone charger, and you can also plug these into a battery pack, so you could easily make these portable. It's nice that this has auxiliary and Bluetooth, so if you had this on your gaming computer setup, but then you wanted to stream some music from your phone at a different time, you can just swap modes on this, and then use them as Bluetooth speakers. So it's nice that you wouldn't have to actually come up and unplug this and plug it into your phone. You can leave your phone wherever you wanna leave it and swap modes. So it makes it very versatile. Now some things to consider is that these are smaller speakers, so it's not gonna have as good a bass response as a system with a subwoofer. But I did turn it up pretty high and I didn't hear a lot of distortion from that. Now on the other ranges, they sounded really good on the mids and the highs. And even on the lows, it sounded good for a speaker this size. You wouldn't expect this to have earth shaking sound, but they did well for what they are. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.